Hey guys, I'm here with iPhoneDevelopers.com and in this video we're going to show you how to install the brand new Quake 3 Arena for iPad. This is the version 0.1 created by Alexander Pick. It is uh, iPad native and has runs at full resolution for this iPad which is 10024 by 768 This is a, a different version than the earlier one that was used on the iPhone and the iPad. This is much, much better, uh, a lot less buggy, and it comes with on-screen controls for running uh, Quake 3. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and open up Cydia to get this. You'll note that your iPad is going to have to be jailbroken here, otherwise you will not be able to get this application. So uh, on your jailbroken iPad, go ahead and open Cydia and then go over to search. Go ahead and type in Quake and uh, you'll see right here Quake 3 Arena HD. Let me bring that up to you. There are several other versions as I mentioned, but it's the Quake 3 Arena HD that you want. And um, this is again version 0.1 by Alexander Pick. You'll see that in the uh, in the description it talks about being iPad native and with the on-screen controls. Those are the the key aspects of this version. Okay, so once you go ahead and get this, you're going to go over here and uh, hit install and then confirm. City is going to download uh, Quake 3, and uh, it's really a, it's a surprisingly small program, so it doesn't take very long. Okay, go ahead and we'll return to Cydia, and uh, now Quake 3 should be installed if we go ahead and bounce out here. Okay, there we go. Right down here in the uh, the launcher, we've got Quake 3 Arena. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open this for the first time, and you'll see the amazing uh, opening sequence, which I absolutely love. Let's go ahead and flip landscape here. Um, now, when you first load up this game, it's going to ask you to install... Um, either your own files or download the demo version. Since I had already had this installed, we skipped that screen, but I would just recommend go ahead and, and downloading the demo data because it's very easy. It takes about five minutes, and then before you know it, you'll be in here on this screen and uh, playing, playing a little Quake. This is the level selection screen right here. I'm going to go ahead and hit back, show you a little more about the uh, the game. There's a multiplayer area, which I do not have set up. There's the actual setup screens, which is very interesting because you can actually do a lot with this. It's, it's many of the same setting screens that the actual Quake 3 has. A lot of it does not work properly. For example, if you go into system and, uh, and graphics, I'm pretty sure this is just an image, so I don't think you can actually change anything. I've tried to know... Uh, no avail. Um, but it's pretty cool actually, I think, that they just have all of this in here. I also have not been able to get sound working um, despite several attempts at doing that. I'm not sure why that's the case. If you, uh, if you have your own license of Quake 3, you can actually copy those files over into the uh, Quake 3 Arena folder on your iPad and that will allow you to play with your existing license and access all of the different levels and everything of that nature. Um, Go ahead and, and take a look at some more things. There's really this right here is showing you that we've only got the the demo version installed. I wish some of these were touch screens. Um, and uh, and that's basically it. Again, very easy. Go into Cydia, search for Quake 3 Arena, download the HD version. It's going to ask you to download demo demo data. Go ahead and do that. Um, that should take about five minutes, and then you'll be just about ready to play. The uh, some of the controls are a little bit bizarre. They're a little finicky. Um, but I, I think with a little practice, you'll be more than able to at least enjoy yourself and be surprised at some of the quality video that they have. Ah, look at that. They don't have any of the other videos. Um, anyhow, it's just uh, it's very impressive that this is running on the iPad. I know I've said that several times, but it's, uh, it's really quite an amazing programming feat. All right, guys, uh, go ahead and check out our other video where we actually run through and uh, do a little playing on Quake 3 and um, let us know if you've got any questions or if you find anything else that we should cover. Thanks. See you next time.